and welcome to Inside the Valley on this Sunday morning. As I mentioned earlier, we've got a great show in store for you today. First on the show, we're talking to the folks from Friends of Animal Rescue about a great event that they have coming up. Talk a little bit more about the rescue that they have going on. Also about this fantastic event you won't want to miss. We have two ladies on the show. We have Sherry Pindard and Jamie Whetstone. Thank you both so much for being here. Thanks Thank you very us. much for having us. Okay, so before we start talking about this great event that you have coming up, which I love the name called Dog Gone Wedding, let's first of all talk a little bit about the rescue that you guys have going on there. Friends of Animal Rescue started back in 2012, and we are on South Padre Island, and our goal is there's a voice for every homeless animal and a home for every animal and we will first always try to reunite the pet back with the owner because a lot of animals will get lost on the island mm -hmm. and if we can't then we take care of all their vetting needs spay neuter vaccinate and treat for heartworms if positive and then put them up for adoption and find them a new home so it all started back in 2012 what was kind of the idea behind it how were you just saying you know what i want to come up with friends of animal rescue well, what originally happened is before we started, there's the Port Isabel Animal Shelter. Uh -huh. And the city took over that shelter, and there were 398 animals that needed to be placed in a home in 30 days, or they were going to be euthanized. Oh, wow. So we got the news involved, and mm. we were able to place all of those animals in homes, and then we went ahead and focused on the island and opened up our shelter. Oh, wow. So how many animals do you have currently right now? Right now, we have 20. 20 animals, and they're all looking for homes. All looking mm -hmm. for homes. Including this one right here. This is Hope. This is Hope right here, okay, <laughs> and she looks amazing. Let's talk a little bit about Hope. How did you get her, and how was she brought into the rescue? You go ahead, Jamie. Hope was um, a victim of a hit and run, and she was brought into us by a concerned citizen that witnessed it happening, mm -hmm. and um, we rushed her to emergency surgery. Actually, it broke her back right leg, and... Um, messed up her front right one and this one ended up having to get amputated mm -hmm. she's a sweet little girl and she's recovered beautifully mm -hmm. and she's now ready for adoption but we um we actually started a fund called um fund hope for an animal because of her right and so she's been the inspiration to try to raise more money to take care of the sick and injured animals that come our way so let's talk a little bit about this great event that you have coming up here called dog gone wedding first of all how did you come up with the idea for this event um, Jackie Conrad, who's the president of our board of directors, she went ahead and came up with this, and it is actually a doggy costume contest. Oh, okay. And everyone's invited to bring their dogs. If you enter them or don't enter them in the contest, all dogs are welcome. Right. And we have from best costume to look alike, best tail wagging, and we also have one with the um, kids to come up with their animals also. Which one was that? That's a look-alike junior. Look-alike junior contest. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we have a judge's table, mm. and the winners will receive ribbons and other prizes, and we also have doggy wedding cake for the animals. We have a human wedding cake, and we actually perform the ceremony right there. Wow. And best dress, they dress them up very, very nicely, and it'll be the bridesmaids and the groomsmen, and it's a big party. And we also invite other shelters to come with their animals that they have up for adoption mm -hmm. in hopes to clear out as many out of kennels as we can and get them into new forever homes. Now, is this the first year you're having this event? This is our fifth year. Yes. Fifth year, wow. So tell me about last year's event. Uh, how did that go, and, and what are the goals this year? Last year, we ended up adopting, I think it was seven animals throughout wow. all of the shelters. Great. And um, this year, we're hoping to get at least 10 to 15. Sure, absolutely. And those dogs, um, are, are they just dogs or are they cats as well? Or They're only coming there or only dogs right. that are actually brought. Okay. But from the event, we also let everybody know about the kitties that are up for adoption. Yeah. And they will actually go back and we have adopted out cats through the venue. Is there an adoption fee at all? or? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, cats are $25 and dogs are $85. And right. that includes the spaying, the neutering, the vaccinations, and the microchipping. Oh my goodness. That's, that's amazing. Good. <laughs> and if the dogs are heartworm positive, also includes the heartworm right. treatment. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, w the money that's raised from this event, that goes back into the rescue? Goes back to the shelter and we use that for all of the vetting and taking care of all their medical needs until they get a new home. Now, what about for folks who are out there right now who they can't attend this event but they want to help up help out a little bit are you guys taking monetary donations or what's the best kind of way for them to help out uh, yeah if they don't want to physically come into the shelter to donate um, they can always mail it to us or we're set up to accept Facebook donations now okay. so if you look up SPI friends of animal rescue on Facebook we're there and also our website you can okay. donate through there as well now uh, something I meant to ask you a little earlier you said there's costume contest yeah. 
Uh, what kind of costumes are you looking for? Just any kind of doggy costume. It is really yeah. funny. People really get creative, and especially the winter Texans, they oh, will yeah. sew all year long to come up with these creative costumes. Especially the look alike. The dog's a pirate. The owner's a pirate. Yeah. Jailbirds. I mean, you'll be amazed <laughs> at some of the things that come in. It's really entertaining. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun for everybody to come out on. Um, it's February 18th mm -hmm. at Clayton's Beach Bar and Grill. Okay. It's free to enter. There's no charge to come in, but there's a $10 charge to enter into the costume okay. contest. Sure. And um, it's from registrations at 12:30, and the event is from 1 to 3 throughout the day. Okay, excellent, excellent. Uh, folks, if you're just tuning in right now to Inside the Valley on this Sunday morning, we're talking to the ladies from Friends of Animal Rescue about a great event that they have coming up here called Dog Gone Wedding. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic opportunity for you to go out there, see some of these animals that are uh, in need of being adopted, or you can go out there, bring your own pet, uh, socialize your pets with other people's pets. That's uh, going to be a great time. Um, where can people get a little bit more information about uh, uh, Friends of Animal Rescue or about Dog Gone Wedding? Uh, both on Facebook and on our website. Um, that stuff gets updated daily uh, by me, actually. So, oh, okay. <laughs> but I'm on there always. You can always find all that information on there. And what about volunteers? I'm sure you're always looking for some volunteers, people to help out with events and whatnot. We mm -hmm. are always wanting volunteers. We welcome them with open arms from working in the resale store to walking dogs, socializing the cats, coming out and helping at the events. Um, we love our volunteers. We have the best volunteers in the world. And something that uh, we were mentioning a little bit off camera before we started the show here, your resale store. Uh, real quickly talk about that. That's in front of the, the um, restaurant. In our building, the front of our building is a resale store, and the back of it is where we house the animals. And everything in the front of the store is donated 100%, and all the proceeds come back to help animals in the shelter. And the great thing, too, everything that's sold goes right back into the shelter. Mm, right so back fantastic. to the shelter. Uh, a little bit more information here, folks. Uh, Puppy Bingo, Tuesday, February 14th. Mm -hmm. That's at uh, the Inn at South Padre Island uh, from 6.30 until 8.30 p.m. That's going to be a lot of fun. Doggone Wedding, Saturday, February 18th. Clayton's, South Padre Island, 1 p.m. until 3 p.m. So yes. another fantastic event uh, for folks to get involved with. And we put some more information on your screen there. Uh, call this number if you'd like to find out a little bit more about um, anim uh, Friends of Animal Rescue or about the event Doggone Wedding. Call this number, 956 Seven seven two eleven seventy one. Ladies, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank, thank you very you. much. It's my pleasure. And folks, don't go anywhere on this Sunday morning. When we come back, we're going to be talking to the folks from the Comfort House of McAllen about their 16th annual walkathon. Don't go anywhere.